Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So we just had an update to the previous server. It's got some quality of life improvements along with the ability to get most of the new upcoming gear. It's all in the Wondrous Bazaar so we can check out how does it work, is it any good and does it, yeah, work the way it says it does. In this video we're going to focus on the artifacts and the set pieces to go with them. There are three of these new artifacts. And yeah, one of them in particular is pretty busted for damage dealers and it could be a total game changer if it stays the way it is. More on that later in the video. Now jumping to the quality of life improvements, we can see that our first inventory bag is now going to have 72 slots. That is great. That's the maximum capacity of any bag right now in the game. And so that's basically a free boost in slots going from that what it was 42. They didn't update this tooltip yet to now 72. Along with that, those of you who are struggling with space for vanity pets will be delighted to note that they have added an absolute ton of extra free slots. Yep. You shouldn't have to worry about that anymore. Unfortunately, though, profession space is about the same, I believe, but it depends how serious a crafter you are, whether you actually struggle with that or not. That is pretty much all I could find right now. Definitely more to come, but let's jump to the new artifacts and sets you can get within the new module. First, we have this teamwork tactic set. You may notice it's pretty much just a reskin and upgrade of the Jewel of the North set. All three pieces together gives you that teamwork tactics, which as a tank increases your threat and as a different role reduces your threat by 15%. This set has a whopping 3,200 item level on the neck and waist piece with the artifact at 1,800. So it's going to be the new highest item level set that there is in the game. Whether you should be using it or not is a different story. Ultimately, I would only go with it if you're a tank and you don't really have anything else. Generally, as a tank, I would still go with the Tiamat set. This with the golden necklace, golden sash, and then the arcane orb, giving you that draconic resilience. It's about the best in slot one there is right now, even looking at the difference in item level. So I personally wouldn't use this set, but it does come from the new dungeon, Lair of the Mad Dragon, even on advanced version. So it shouldn't be too hard to obtain, meaning you could use it as like a stepping stone set for your tank, particularly if you need the item level to access higher content. Now, as for does this set work? Well, I've gone and tested, does it increase your threat as a tank? And that does indeed work right there. You're gonna gain 100% bonus threat. That adds to your base threat modifier, which is going to be like Justicar's charge on Paladin. The other tanks have their own as well, which is normally 1,500. So you're getting that up to 1,600. That would mean it's only giving like 6.6% threat. And if you do use your other like base boost to your threat, you can get that to 2,000% or even 2,500% you'd be looking at a gain of like 5% or less. It's not much, guys. You'd be better off with like a 5% damage boost at that point. Now, as for the artifact itself, again, it's going to have the highest item level of any artifact in the game when this goes live. So it's going to be best in slot even to just use a secondary for like damage dealers. It doesn't even have bad stats with power, defense and crit strike. However, you can use it as primary and it does have that debuff ability. The unfortunate thing, though, is it moves you. It's exactly like it's the Thirst Artifact and like the Jewel of the North Artifact. So it's not exactly that practical in most content. But again, it will be usable as a debuff there lasting 10 seconds. I wouldn't use it as a damage dealer, more so as a healer. And I wouldn't use it as a tank because that moving you to the other side of the boss is just going to be problematic. The debuff on it does work very well. So it is going to be added onto this list, but uh, yeah, pretty much with the Jewel of the North and Thirst there. I wouldn't really use it for practicality reasons for that movement, unless you're a healer and can afford it. From here, we go to the set Magmatic Efficiency. 
It's going to give you a bunch of stats along with the artifact searing conduit of magma. Again, at 1,800 item level and the neck and waist pieces, 2,800 item level. So a little bit behind the mythic set, but still very high compared to other sets out there. It just isn't that great. It's just going to give you 2% power, 2% forward day, 2% defense. It's a reliable stat boost set, but they're generally just better options. For a healer, sure, you can use it as a stepping stone set, same as damage dealers. But again, for healers who want to maximize their outgoing healing effectiveness, I would just go with the detector set. That's even a very good set for damage dealers too. But otherwise, as damage dealers, there's the masterwork set like the scintillant one and the shroomwood sets, which are super good. It does simply just come from the campaign store, so it's also pretty easy to get here. And I do not rate it very highly at all. However, the artifact with it is very interesting. It's an artifact that's going to give you 22.3% multiplicative damage boost. I don't believe it's intended. It's very likely that it's supposed to be a damage buff, but the way it is, it's multiplicative. It also has a little bit of a damage effect, but it's not going to be doing much. What I mean by this is that it's going to basically be a lot more effective than using a debuff because this is going to be a true 22.3 percent you can see my test data here like we go without anything without getting our base then we use the artifact and you can see it's a true 22 0.3 percent multiplicative damage buff we went and made sure we had other debuffs we had other buffs and it does not work to stack on top of that the math doesn't check out when you do that it's more effective meaning it's actually multiplicative this is then pretty much a game changer because you will use this to personally boost your damage and it becomes better in a dungeon for all the damage dealers to just use this during an artifact call and buff themselves up personally rather than adding debuffs to the target just because the sheer amount of actual value you get from this it's better than say three debuff artifacts you can see that right here a five-man dungeon and we use three conduits of magma and that results in basically more damage gain than if you were to just go all full debuffs it's basically like using this setup versus this setup and it's just better to have this setup with 69 percent damage buffs and then using the conduits keep in mind i do not know if that's intended this could get changed to be a damage buff and then it's just not good currently it's a multiplicative damage buff which just results in it effectively boosting your damage by an awful lot more than what a traditional damage buff would be that would stack with others. So if we jump to a 10 man group, what kind of setup would you be using? Well, you'd actually want to have five people using it, not six, five. Meaning if you have six damage dealers, one of them, yeah, is gonna have to go and use a debuff. Basically, whichever difference here is closest to zero is best. So if we look at just four people using conduits, the difference is greater, which means it's actually better to have five of them. And the debuffs comparison again is this right here. So you'd have in your trial, this would be all the debuffs, 156%. But then if you were to take out the artifacts that five damage dealers would use to give like 10%, then you'd be at 106%. And then if all those five damage dealers are to go and use conduit instead, it just results in basically the same amount of damage and thus is actually better because you're not reliant then on the timing of other people. Ultimately, yeah, it's a pretty big game changer. All damage dealers can essentially use this and it's going to have the same effect as if all those other damage dealers in your party were using debuff artifacts. But again, be aware, I do not know if it's going to remain like this. Keep yourselves updated. Check on any news that I post if that gets changed. I'll be sure to mention it in a video if it does. Otherwise, could be designed to be like that because it's not that overly powerful 
it's just kind of a game changer with regards to coordination. You don't then have to sort debuffs between like your damage dealers. You just have them all use this one. And in a trial group, you have sure one of them use a debuff and everybody else this one. And it's basically the same amount of damage as you had before. And in a dungeon, if you were to say, just have one person use this, everybody else the debuffs, you're basically boosting that one damage dealer by a significant amount. Ultimately, we'll see what happens. But again, that artifact is pretty easy to obtain. You just have to do the campaign and you'll get it. It does require though milestone four, I believe. So it will take us minimum the second week to get it. If you got the head start pack, got your weekly haul, and then the following week you could obtain the artifact. But there is still a few weeks then for the devs to actually look at it and see if they want to change it. I personally think it's pretty cool how it is, but it does take out the use of a lot of these debuffs. You're just going to have a lot of people solely using that artifact. You will still, of course, want a lot of these debuffs. You want to have your tanks and healers using them, as you see by these lists here, in like a trial and in like a dungeon. I did go and double check with the comparison with the buffer artifact. So I had one player use the buffer, I used the conduit, and we can still see it's a 22.3% multiplicative damage boost to that, even with all those other debuffs and damage buffs. Personally, I would like to see the devs keep it that way and add to the tooltip that it is multiplicative, but put a catch that it is only multiplicative in fire themed maps much like the new damage bonuses they're coming out with for this module like these boots four percent damage in fire themed maps this ring two percent damage in fire themed maps these weapons having doubled effect in fire themed maps so that can ultimately limit its use to not all content but just for this module's content that way we can have some fun in this content with it but it doesn't make it like a game wide effect it's not going to break the future content because as soon as we're outside of fire themed maps it won't be good to use this and thus you can create new artifacts that are good in those zones and in other content without worrying about it being so broken and thus having the same band of air issue where they can't create something better so they have to go and nerf it that again would be my suggestion make it only work like this in fire themed maps but finally there's one more artifact you can obtain and that is the heart of the volcano and this is a super good artifact to use as tanks it's going to give 1800 item level again it's going to have defensive stats and 15% stamina regen. Hallelujah. So super good as secondary, but even as primary, it's pretty good. Again, it has a 10% debuff effect along with reducing the damage you take by 10%. And this does work pretty well. You could see the debuff working just here with the math. It all checks out and it should stack with again all these other artifacts here as it does seem to be a unique debuff effect. And that artifact in particular will come from the new lockbox, the Foxfire lockbox. Oh, and just looking at that name, that's most definitely where the new Fox mount, as we can see a preview of here is gonna come from so it will have this mount which we don't know the stats of yet and this really good artifact for tanks ultimately that's everything for this video i will get down to testing the other things we have accessible to the armor weapons shirt and pants and i'll probably do that all in one combined video it is pretty cool we're getting mythic shirt and pants that also have a set multiple different sets you have as well but once again, thank you for watching. A massive thank you to all of these channel members. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.